Okay, we're back. Oh. <laughs> it's done. Okay, we'll get the carburetor off here now. And, uh. Yeah, I went ahead and, uh, actually, I did get a bite on my wrist. It, yeah, it's a bite. I couldn't figure out if I got. If I was spraying myself with. Uh, where is it? You probably can't see it. It's just like crazy, and I thought I've been spraying. I put on the blue gloves because that stuff, that little bottle of insert repellent, leaks like crazy when you spray it. And uh, right after I did that, I was stinging right there, and I thought, well, that must be a sore that got some of that on it. Now I went in the house and had to, you know, take a little break there for a second, and uh, a little restroom break, and uh, put some aloe vera junk that I keep. Except for sunburns, but it's good for about anything. And so that always helps a little bit. Still itching, but not as bad. So anyway, I did get bit before I knew it. And uh, I think they're gone now. Maybe the heat already drove them out. Well, but I went and got my... I still had a little bit of poison left in my pump-up sprayer garden poison sprayer. So I just sprayed all around where I'm going to be working because I got ants like crazy over there in the dirt. and Those mosquitoes. I just sprayed around everywhere. Not on the motor or anything I'm going to be rubbing, touching a lot. Everywhere else, I just sprayed a little here and there. And up in the, you can't see it right now, but up there in the valley there below the windshield wipers where there's uh, like holes in the drain, drains, I thought, heck, they may be living in there, so I sprayed all that. So, maybe we'll be in better shape. I did remember I probably need a little screwdriver to get this off. I can see it. Oh, okay. It's a C clip. So, uh, how can I have my light? That it would actually help me. I thought it was going to be on a different kind of clip than that. Maybe that'll work for now. Well, I know it's not going to be. It's going to be in my way too much of this. See if that will work. Make light but not blind me. Let's see. I don't know if this will be small enough to get it. And I don't really want to lose it. Is the thing. I may, I probably have some that I saved somehow. Actually, I probably just need to use a big screwdriver. Now the light's not doing me any good. Like that. Need to see good. Yeah, it's turned just right for me to push down on it with a regular screwdriver. So maybe I can push down and catch it. No? Yeah, there we go. I can get a hold of it. Oh, good. And it's got magnetized the other day, so it caught it. Cool. Cool. I gotta figure out where I want to put it so that I probably won't lose it. I usually could, I always, I forgot that. I usually have bottles. I've got old medicine bottles I save for putting, and allergy medicine bottles and all that stuff. Save for putting stuff in like that, screws and everything. Guess I'll leave the light there while I'm on this side and then move it when I go to the other side. Okay, we got another one down here. That one's loose. Yeah, this one's got a bigger clip. Oh, okay. Might be able to get that. That's a little screwdriver. I started to use my thumbnail, but I'll probably just break my thumbnail down. My nails have gotten really easy to break. They used to be tough as nails. Now they're breaking apart. And then they split. Another thing, I guess, about getting on. That's what happens when you get older. You give out too much information automatically. You can't help it. I guess. All my elders did that now. I'm starting to do it. So. Yeah, I think the... No, it's not. 
That's why I think the vacuum line to the power brake is on the carburetor, but it's just up behind it on the on the uh, <coughs> yeah. You know that place. That place wrapped in. <coughs> Yeah, I just could have used some WD-40 to spray those down and loosen them up. I probably should. A lot of times, if you do that, you won't tear them to shreds when you're trying to get them off. So I've got all three of those vacuum lines. Now, I'm just going to have to go to get it. I can figure out another place to set stuff. Went ahead and got my WD-40 and my rust buster. Probably not rusty up here, but it definitely won't hurt. It'll only help to spray cover it. It's probably worked just fine, but that rust buster is so strong, I don't know for sure if it's a little strong for rubber vacuum lines and whatnot. So, we'll just use WD-40. And since this can is about empty anyway, probably a good time to use that up. Or you can get to it, because the other day I tried to use it and I couldn't hardly get it in a position where it would spray. Yeah. Let's see about getting those off of there. I think there's really not a whole lot on here. This one probably would have torn up. That, there we go. Oh, that's always great. The daggum metal insert in the carburetor came out, but it stayed on the hose. That's one. I remember that now that I see it. This one might still be kind of stuck. Pretty new. I used it. Oh, man, but it's on me. Get to it with the pliers. I'll try with the new ones. If you just twist them and break them loose, you can usually get them out without tearing them up. I didn't. I may have already damaged it and end up having to cut it off. I'm already. I think this one may be too controlled. I can't see it. I guess if I get to where I can see the end of it, I might have an idea what I'm doing. Let me. But you wouldn't just you know like this one here. The one that is the newest is the most trouble. 
there. Got the screwdriver under it and it just slid off like it was meant to. Like it was hardly even on there. That's what they'll do. But if you just pull and yank and squeeze and if you, you'll just tear them up and then you're gonna get, you can only cut them off so many times and they get too short and you're gonna have to go get some new vacuum on just because you tore up the end of them. As long as they're not brittle and cracked. They're not leaking, they're good if you don't tear them up. I think this one was stretchy enough that it handled that abuse. Let's look at it while I'm thinking about it. I think so. I think it'll be fine. It's pretty new. Okay. Now. I think it's a half inch. Goes on there. Really? No, it's three quarters, unless I got the wrong thing again. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I had seven sixteenths. Everything looks bigger to me now. Oh, I know why. I got these. I can find glasses on. It's fooling me. There we go. I've got a. I might as well put it on. Well, I won't put it on there until now, but I've got one of those swivels, socket swivels. They come in handy, and I know I'm going to need it on that back one. I'll do it first, get it loose, and then do the others. I barely was able to. I was just tightening them down last time. Barely was able to get on it at all. Oh, but it's too tall. So it doesn't help. I don't think I, I didn't have one. I was using my quarter inch sockets at that time. I don't have a swivel in there. I can use an end wrench if I need to. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. That went all the way off. And then get the rest. I do need a, a bucket of for bolts. Put it in my tool tray for now. Okay. This one's hard to get to too, but you can get a good bite on it. Now I'm gonna loosen all of them up. And what's that thing? It will cut your knuckles to shreds. I guess I could try taking it out. No, it'll keep me from banging on my choke when I take this apart. I'm to break the choke. I don't know. But I might off. I think the last time when I rebuilt it, I ended up taking it out. It's easier to take off with it bolted down because it's pretty tight. With it for now. I don't think I know what I want. Okay. Sure, I guess I thought I needed it. Oh, it doesn't work good on the square end. You gotta use the socket. The hex hexagonal end. Is that what you said? Not what I said. I said socket. Socket end. I saw that on the, I was looking at spark plugs. Oh, lock washer, washer, yeah. I guess I just, oh, I know why, because that's aluminum and I didn't want to dig into it. And the reason I didn't have that on this one over here, because this bracket, oh, there's a spring still in the bracket. Because the bracket, well, it's kind of long and it's hanging on because, oh, I got it. This is the one I should have already took off. Now that the carburetor is loose, I got it was binding it stuff up there. Let's 
catch the boat. Yeah, I thought it came all the way on. Let's see if I can get those off with that. I, mean, I could just pick up the coal better, but no telling where that went. That's not strong enough magnet. Oh, but it doesn't have to be. I can use it to lift them up. This one I may have to get that way. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Get that off later. Okay. It's loose except for that spring. Going to this bracket here. Yeah, see, it's. I don't know if you can see it or not. Where is my. Yeah, there it is. It's uh, got another hole, but this holly, you know, it was for a Carter. I imagine this what was originally on the Chevrolet here. Carter AFB or something like that. It's uh, it had a place for it to bolt in, but this one done. But it works fine. It, you put the one in, and then it it it, it uh, sets on the back of the carburetor. No problem. Doesn't move around or anything. Okay, so uh, choke, choke wire. That's been redone many years ago. Put it up there. Oh, that's a new gasket. So I guess my kit comes with a new desk. There's my, my carbonator. My carbonator. Now we'll get it out on the bench. And I don't want I was fixing to set on that board that I put on top of the battery, but that'll get gas all over it. This actually was a good piece of plywood. It was once upon a time. I got stuff in my way. Set it right there for now. Until I crawl out of here enough. Gasket is actually in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, see this went on there. And there what it doesn't reach the other one. Make oh yeah, because the other the factory uh, intake manifold, yeah it wasn't the carburetor, the factory intake manifold would uh, was narrower bolt pattern and it would reach it. Yeah the brake booster's back there. Everything looks like in there. Okay. Well, it looks, looks like it's had gas in there. But I need to put something in there. I've got one of my really dirty rags. I don't want some crap falling down in there. So let's tuck that rag. I'm putting a board up there, but this is better. I probably don't have a board that's the right size to set in between those bolts. Okay. Yep. Now we can see stuff. Like my, uh, that's kind of like air conditioning duck hanging stuff. It makes good uh, wire loom when you don't have any. I've got a bunch of them now, a bunch of wire hangers. That I inherited from my friend, friend's dad. My friend didn't have a place to put all his dad's stuff. It's real. They're, they're aircraft. It's hot, hot, you know, good stuff. He worked it. Uh, he was a, he was an uh, electrical engineer from most long, long. I don't know how long. You know, he was like he was in a real cool. He's a jazz musician. He's playing jazz bands back in the gas days, you know, I don't know if he was in the 20s, let's see, he probably played more in the 30s, he was probably still a kid in the 20s, he might have played in the later 20s, might have been grown up enough, of course he might, have, I don't remember when he started, he could have started playing when he was a kid, that'll fall if I leave it there, it's heavy, you can't see where it is, it's on my brake booster, get a foot out, okay, now we'll bring it over here, I'm gonna go over here if I can show it to my workbench that I set up.
get my other camera. Oh, I didn't show it. It's out there. Can't see it. Can't see but the end of it. Okay. I tried to do that with a carburetor in one hand and not seeing the screen. Didn't work. Light. Yeah. Turn it off until I need it again. I think I'll switch to my other camera because it's got a taller tripod and you can aim down at the table or something with it where you can't really do that too well with this one. Okay, I'll stop and get my other camera set up.